This past year has made it clear for many manufacturers that it's critical to automate. But where do they start? In the past, automation projects have needed to be worth it and therefore targeted the most complex processes to automate. The task had to be worth it because of the high cost, training time, and implementation time to get that automation into the factory. Now, because of easier to use robot automation, it's so much faster to implement a robotic project. Automation projects that took months can now take days. And with that big of a change, we need to rethink the whole game. Join me for another Ready Session, and welcome to the future. Often companies gravitate towards the hardest tasks when looking to automate. Let's say you're making this switch. You have one employee pressing the knob onto the switch, while another employee adds these wires. The wiring definitely takes more skill than simply pushing on the knob, and it takes longer too, so that's what we should automate. Well, not really. You're going to have to build a much more complex robotic work cell to install these floppy wires than to simply push on this knob. In the past, factories would have chosen that more complex task because if automation was already hard, we might as well get the most out of it. It may sound counterintuitive, but because the technology has gotten easier to put in place, it makes more sense to automate the lowest hanging fruit first. Focusing on the easier task is the right move because it's a faster win. Think about it. Automating the knob installation, the type of task a robot is good at, which is straightforward to automate, allows the person who was doing that task to help with wiring, a task that's difficult to automate. Now you have automation where it makes sense and your worker is doing the stuff that a robot can't do. Your first automation cell is done and your momentum is building. With tools that make automation faster to deploy, like no code programming, it becomes possible to deploy automation in a very iterative fashion. Let's say you're building a robot work cell for machine tending and your company needs the cell to run two shifts in order to meet demand. We're already building a robot work cell, so why not build one that will run lights out for a third shift as well? Here's the issue. Even with easy to use automation, a lights out cell may require a lot more effort because now the system needs to run there without people to refill it. And since a two shift operation meets your business needs, it already provides a lot of value. So think of this as an 80-20 exercise. Getting to two shifts is 20% of the effort versus the remaining 80 to get to lights out. Is that extra 33% value worth all of that effort? When automation was more difficult, maybe it made sense to push forward and do everything at once. But now, by choosing an easier to use automation tool and building your first work cell to spec, i.e. two shifts, you'll have more time and resources for your next cells. Because it's easy, there's no penalty for doing just enough to meet that two shift requirement. Maybe in the future you iterate towards lights out, but in the meantime, your cell is running and you can pay that 80% of effort forward. With a successful automation cell, you'll quickly want to implement more. And that means that it's critical for you to choose the right technology that will scale with your ambition. So you'll want something that is easy to use so your existing workforce can rapidly upskill their automation competency to keep up with the demand. And you'll also want an automation platform that provides the same set of tools that work with any robot or peripheral a future work cell might need. By choosing technology that scales with you for your first automation cell, your next cell, you won't be starting at zero. Your employees will already be trained on an easy to use, versatile platform and will be knowledgeable about tools that work under any circumstances. This will dramatically accelerate these future projects because even if your next work cell is different, your employees will be able to focus on solving for those differences by putting the tools they already know to work. Picking the right technology at the heart of your automation strategy means that each subsequent installation will have your employees growing more adept at solving automation problems, and they will have the consistent framework of that easy to use technology on which to build all of that knowledge. Mm -hmm.